Cellulite is something that affects many of us. So it's very, very, very common. And this is not something that we should be embarrassed about. And most certainly, don't believe in those fashion magazines with the flawless models. They're airbrushed anyway. But it is important to point out that the presence of cellulite indicates that there is poor blood circulation, decreased lymphatic drainage, and collagen production. There are many factors that contribute to cellulite and that we don't have any control over, such as our age, our gender, and our ethnicity. But there are other factors that we do have control over, and this includes a healthy diet, regular physical exercise, and massaging the affected area with a high quality topical solution. And this is what this video is about. Since we will be using essential oils for this recipe, and due to their potency, they are not suitable for everybody. And this includes children, pregnant women, women who are breastfeeding, and also people with certain health issues. Some of the oils we will be using are photosensitive, which means that the area where it will be applied should not be exposed to sunlight for at least 12 hours after application. To be on the safe side, apply this in massage at night. If you have any concerns, please do your own research and always consult with a health provider that you trust. Always check for allergies before applying. It's also very important to use natural and high quality oils for this. So let's get started. For this recipe, we will need six things. First, we will need a glass container, and I encourage you to reuse one. This is what I'm doing here. And make sure to clean it properly before you use it. Organic sweet almond oil, which will serve as our base oil. I like coconut oil too, but it must be melted before, and you must use a container where a spoon can reach. So using oil like almond will be easier. Juniper berry essential oil for its purifying and draining qualities. It also favors blood circulation and contains active components that may help reduce the appearance of cellulite. Lemongrass essential oil because it can help tighten the affected area and reduces the appearance of cellulite. It also has purifying properties as well as diuretic, which helps remove fluids trapped in the tissues surrounding cellulite. Grapefruit essential oil because it also has detoxifying properties and helps dissolve fat. It is also diuretic and prevents water retention. And last but not least, we will use vitamin E oil to replenish collagen levels. We'll start with a small batch first and you can always double it up in the future if you want to have more in your container. Just make sure to be careful with the amounts suggested and make sure to respect them because essential oils should never be applied pure on the skin and should always be diluted. Take your container and add 6 teaspoons of sweet almond oil. Now we're going to add 12 drops of grapefruit essential oil, followed by 8 drops of juniper berry essential oil, 2 drops of lemongrass essential oil, and 5 drops of vitamin E oil. Shake it slowly and now it's time to massage this onto the skin.
I'll apply this oil solution on the outer thighs because this is a problematic area for many of us. Apply a small amount of the oil solution into your hands and spread it on the affected area and always make sure to close the bottle's cap after use so that the essential oils will not evaporate. We will do three types of massage movements. The first one is by making a fist with our hands and kneading the skin with upward and downward movements. Go deep and slow at first, and then if you want to increase speed to medium without going too fast and too hard. One thing that is really important here is to treat yourself with a lot of care and love. The second movement is by applying pressure with the thumbs and also using that kneading motion just like the first movement and then you can go up and down a few times And then move on to the third movement, which is to grab the skin with your fingers in an upward motion. Massage the area for at least five minutes, alternating between movements and always finishing with upward motions in the direction of the heart. Do this every night after a shower and before going to bed and do it at least five times a week for better results. Also remember that it is very, very, very important to follow a healthy diet and to engage in regular physical exercise to help with your efforts. This has been it for today. I hope that this video served you well. And before you leave, please make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and ring the bell to receive more wellness videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.